Hey, what's up, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday's card, September 10th, 2024. Free play coming up in baseball. We're going to get to that in just a minute. A couple of quick notes. First of all, uh, if you are not yet a member of DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it, you click on that link below the video, you get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use that on any of my daily packages. So check that out again by clicking on that link below the video. Also wanted to mention that uh, today's card, I've got two plays, four-star in baseball, those plays on a 38 and 24 run, and also a six-star top prop in Major League Baseball pitching prop. And my props are on a 44 and 24 run, up almost $6,000. Those plays over on my homepage at DocSports.com. Quick recap of the weekend in football. I won on Saturday, top play on Michigan State. They got the outright win on the road over Maryland, and then I lost on Sunday in the NFL, including a top play loser, so that was no fun. Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll go into week two in the NFL, looking to kick off a strong run. I love week two and beyond. College football lost week one, came back, had the strong week two, so we'll look to continue to do that also in the NFL. More on my football stuff uh, later this week. Real quick note before I move on, uh, Amal Shah, v fame, and now at DocSports.com, he and I are going to be doing a video each and every Wednesday talking about the upcoming football weekend, and that starts this Wednesday. I'll tell you a little bit more about it on my personal video uh, tomorrow on Wednesday morning, but uh, I'm all Sean and I doubling up, and I'm looking forward to doing uh, a video every Wednesday with the upcoming weekend in mind in college and pro football. All right, let's get to the comp play. Oh, you know what I wanted to mention real quick? I wanted to talk real quickly about last night's Monday Night Football. Started out well for the Jets for the most part. They took an early lead, but that defense, which is supposed to be – their strength got shredded. They got controlled. They got dominated. Uh, they were terrible in the trenches. You know, no CMC last night. So what happens? Uh, let's bring in another uh, running back here, and we're going to go ahead, and he's going to run for, you know, 140-some yards on 20-some carries. And you saw what happened, man. They just ran the ball between the tackles, and they did whatever they wanted. I mean, Brock Purdy didn't even have to do anything, you know, very much in that game last night. I mean, he didn't have to make any crazy plays. He didn't turn the ball over. He didn't throw any touchdowns, but he also didn't throw any picks, and he looked extremely confident in that offense. The Jets, boy, they got some work to do in the trenches because they looked bad for those final three quarters, especially on defense where they got absolutely shredded. All right, let's get to the free play for today. It's the D-backs and the Rangers in Arizona. D-backs, as of about 3.30 a.m. Eastern time, are laying anywhere from a buck 35 up to a buck 42. And listen, this team comes into this averaging five and a half runs per game on the season. And if you look at their last, what, nine or 10 games, they've upped that average to 6.9 runs per game. The five and a half runs per game for the season is over a run better than what Texas has done at the plate. Also, you know, if you look at Texas and how they've done, as far as their metrics that I care about, which are like OPS, weighted runs, created plus, even team batting average. I mean, they're bottom third in those three categories in the situation they're in tonight. I just don't think that Nathan Eovaldi is going to get as much run support from his mates as will Zach Gallen. And Eovaldi is not the same on the road as he is at home. So I think Arizona will be able to get to him here. Comp play for Tuesday night, the Arizona Diamondbacks on the money line over the Texas Rangers. And again, you can check out uh, my two plays, including the six-star top prop on my homepage at DocSports.com. More about football coming up over the next few days. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put him in the wind column, everybody.